Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time we're going to be answering the question, are web browser extensions safe to use? The short answer is no, but you want to make sure that it's something that you really need or can make use of and that it's worth the risk. So we're going to be looking at how to determine the risk and then you can use your best self judgment to determine if it's worth it or not for you. So in this case, we're looking at Firefox extensions and we've got a couple installed here. We're going to click into one here and in the details, it gives you some information, but there's a section here for permissions. So if we click on that, it tells you the required permissions just to make it work with the basic core functionality are these permissions here. And the first one right there says access your data for all websites. So what does that mean? Well, we can click on learn more about permissions. Then we can scroll down and look for that, which we can see it here, access your data for all websites. Mine's already highlighted because I clicked on this previously. So we'll click into here and it tells you here that the extension could read the content of any web page that you visit as well as the data that you enter into those web pages such as usernames and passwords. So if you're going to your bank website, it knows what website you went to and it knows the bank card and password that you're entering as well because it's got key loggers to log the keystrokes as you're typing them. So you want to be careful about adding in extensions or add-ons that have these kind of permissions. So what can you do about the security of this and if you want to find a browser add-on extension how do you find one that's safe or safer or maybe not as much of a risk well let's have a look at this so if we do a search for something such as a dark theme so we'll stay with the same theme that we were looking at and the add-on type we're looking for extensions but the important thing here is the badging. Right now it's set to anything. Well, we want to ideally find something that's by Firefox. And because we're using Mozilla Firefox browser, we want to search for something that's designed by Firefox. In this case, there's none. If we're using Google Chrome, for example, then you would search for something that's done by Google. If there's nothing by the manufacturer, then we'll look at ones that are verified and there isn't any in this case so the next safest bet would be recommended they're not done by firefox so they're not approved by them they're not verified either so we just look at those that are recommended and they're recommended based on several factors and we can only just read more detail into each one of these so you can see the star rating and how many users are making use of that particular theme or extension add-on so if we click into one of these we'll scroll down a little bit and you'll see permissions here and it tells you that this add-on needs to read the read and modify browser settings and also monitor extension usage and manage the themes so you can tell from here what it is that they do and if you don't understand what this means read and modify browser settings for example we'll click learn more it takes us to the same page that we were on previously and then you can find that here click into it and then it tells you a little bit more about that here and now you know exactly what kind of permissions that it has so you need to be careful when adding extensions add-ons plugins whatever the name is depending on what browser it is but those are a couple of ways to try and find something that is not so risky or a little safer but really if you don't need it and it's not going to help you that much then there's really no need to download it and you're safer to just not have it at all and if you need to just use it temporarily you can disable it and turn it on and off whenever you need to turning them on and off is as simple as just clicking the little switch here to turn it on and off anytime and that's all there is to this tutorial and i hope you did find it helpful if you did please do hit that like button and even better give it a super like or a super thanks 
and thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye for now